Bro, bro, just take the money and go, please. You've already bro, made I'm, me back up. I'm not done now. yet. I'm not bro, done. Bro, just take the money and go. <laughs> Okay, good afternoon people. We are near Tanjong Paga area, okay? Today we are here to sort of like support a friend. So this guy's name is Mark and he took over this restaurant called Capitan. So they specialize in salvic food and they've got a buffet option. I really look up to individuals that like young individuals, right? They took out the F&B business. He jumped out of uni because his dad business is like struggling or something. Took over the restaurant, helped him with a bunch of marketing. I'm pretty sure some of you guys, if you guys are active on TikTok, you guys already seen his, his kids now, okay? He reached out to me, he said, you know, I want to do something. I'm like, sure, because he, he's got a crib buffet going on and buffet is like my favorite word in the dictionary. Okay, so I'm uh, here to support him. I'm not sure I will support him or do him more damage, but we'll talk to you guys a bit more when we're inside. Come, let's go. Okay, so we've got a lot of creeps. Okay, this is Mark, uh, by the way, guys. Uh, he is sort of like the second gen. What makes you want to take over this business? Because F&B is never easy. No, it's a very difficult uh, yeah. uh, industry to be in. But it's technically because it's a family sort of thing. Oh, okay. We all work here. It's my dad who started this. And initially I wasn't part of the team because I was still doing my studies. But I came on to help and I realized actually it's not easy. And as I worked more on it, the more I fell in love with the business itself. Right. It's become part of me now as well. I heard you drop out of uni because of this. Because the business wasn't too, doing too well. Right dropped out to be full-time here to focus more uh, more energy onto this. It's definitely picking up because I've seen a lot of his YouTube videos. Okay, tell me a bit more about Salvic Brew because I've never tried this kind of cuisine before. This right here is actually the blini mm, and blini. the creeps. It's a popular breakfast we usually have at home. Right, um, okay. Either with a sweet or savory topping. Okay. From what I understand, uh, this buffet is 17 90 which is very worth it. Uh, and it comes with all the different toppings, free flow. And it, they sort of like make all this fresh on the date. And this is why we, we're here because for me, I love buffet, okay? Hopefully I don't set him back too much. <laughs> oh, see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, walk us through a bit of uh, the toppings and everything. Okay, so what are all this? For your creeps, you do like a DIY, you build uh, your own creep. Okay. It depends on what you like. My personal preference, I'll take like a cream cheese yeah. as the base. Uh, throw in my toppings, either mushroom, bacon or chicken ham. Oh, okay, it sounds delicious. There's really. some parma, smoked salmon, uh, red caviar, uh, our okay. exclusive Russian caviar. Okay, other than all this, what else your restaurant serve? Our specialty is actually dumplings. We hand make all our dumplings from scratch. Okay. We make our dumplings colorful. Right. So each color I rep that, I represents that. a yeah. unique flavor. Maybe after this, if the response is good enough, right, he will consider doing a dumpling buffet. Dumpling buffet, maybe. We're gonna try this group and we see how this goes. So the buffet is 90 minutes. Usually I'll just give myself an hour and we see how many we can put down. The last time I had crepe, right, is, I don't know, I think four years ago. So you guys heard it, uh, okay? Young owner, how old is he again? Uh? 22. Huh? Huh? The young owner is only 22. Huh? So come down and support him. 22 doing F&B business is insane. Okay, but enough of all the talking. Let's get started, okay? I cannot wait. I'm just gonna... Ooh, it looks delicious. It's very like soft and fluffy. This is like buttermilk pancake. I can eat this without any topping. Oh, it's good. Maybe drop it first. Eh, hello, it's really no good. No joke, no, no, no. it's really very good. Taste-wise, uh, it really tastes like a pancake, uh, but when you fold it and eat it like that, right, texture is very different and it's extra fragrant. Mark told me he likes sour cream. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open it up. Spread it. And then a bit of mushrooms. Okay, like that. Uh. I'm gonna close it back again. This is enjoyable. That sour cream just elevates it to the next level. I would assume that all this, right, you would just want to eat it with sweet stuff. But actually, savory options are really good. Oh, cream cheese is really good. Cream cheese is elite. Cream cheese and smoked salmon. It's like the perfect. Yeah, that's the perfect combination.
Mm. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite for the savory now. Now that I've tried everything, right? my favorite is bacon, cream cheese, a bit of mushrooms, and a bit of sour cream. Honestly, this, this should be the best combination. Eh? I don't even know how to close it, but wow, just one bite. Eh? Mm. Guys, this is an all-you-can-eat crepe buffet. Seventeen ninety, all-you-can-eat crepe buffet. Okay, you get a bunch of free flow toppings, smoked salmon, bacon, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm at Capitan. Yeah, you guys probably seen this page on TikTok before. I can tell you guys, uh, don't order like 20, 30 crepe one shot. You cannot finish one. Uh. This thing fills you up very quickly. I could feel something again. Uh. How do you usually fold this? Uh? Either triangle or you put it on your plates. Okay. Then you fold two corners. Oh, okay. Side, oh. Fold it up. Something like this. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, Wait, one is like the size of Bopia. Uh. So you guys come here. Uh. Pace yourself. Think of how many pupia you can eat first before you order. There's really so many combinations. I can imagine some of you guys actually combining the sweet and the savory. Okay, but I like to stick with savory to savory. Okay? At the moment, cream cheese, bacon, uh, or cream cheese with salmon is elite. It's like the best. What I like about the bacon is because the bacon is already default a little bit salty. So it gives it a bit of like saltiness and a bit of smokiness to it. And I really like it. Baba ham adds to it. I feel more atas now. You <laughs> bacon is like the <laughs> bacon is like the more affordable option, But the baba ham is really takes it to the next level. But honestly, I think bacon is good enough. Their bacon is not the tapang. They actually sort of like saute the bacon a little bit, and it's very very smoky, and I like. Baba ham is good. Baba ham is considered the premium topping. Uh. This one got a bit more of that cured flavor, you know. And actually, baba ham is good for you. In terms of health, okay, how my hand is good for you. I'm too lazy to do the folding technique, I'm just gonna. If you get them to sort of like um, cook it a bit more charred, uh, it's got a very nice caramelized flavor from it. I don't know why, I don't know how, I don't know, like, you know, but very short. So this kind of no need topping. Uh, Eh, hey, we'll try kaya butter. We'll try yang kan. Gak bu cuo. Oh, kaya butter is the way to go. Bro, what is this? Ah, uh? I, I, I initially I thought this is this are uh, ikura, you know. Something like ikura. It also comes from salmon, salmonoid family. It's called krasne kras. It's red caviar. It's completely different from the common Japanese ikura we find here. Japanese sakura is slightly marinated in soy yeah. sauce. This one has a whole different style of marination. It's much more salty. So you guys put this inside the crepe? Uh, yes. Ooh, this okay. is a very premium topping. It's just like black caviar. This one's not as expensive as black caviar. I see, I see. It's a very tasty one. Okay, I'm excited to try this. Thank you, sir. Let me go. Okay, so I eat a bit slowly. Right, I'm going to one bite. <laughs> okay, it tastes a bit like ikura but um, it's got more umami. The fishiness is way stronger. I, I could imagine this to be some sort of like salvage food. You know, ikura, the, the, the umami and the fishiness is not as strong. This one is very strong. It feels like as if they cure it for a while. Mm, it's good, eh? premium topping for sure, but some people might not like it because it might be too fishy. I'm going to start working my way through the second batch, and I'm going to start dipping it into the, the more fun options, which is the the sweeter options, but okay, I'm still not done with the savory ones actually. The bacon is just so good. Guys, this buffet uh, comes with coffee or tea as well. Okay? It's very helpful. Uh. Halfway through if you taste fatigue or whatever, right? This is gonna save you. Make you eat more. I don't understand how many because I don't know how many I can put now. I don't cap the number there. In case I go beyond or in case I stop the earlier. Actually, the movie is quite worth it. 
Then you do the a la carte, you get two pieces for 1790, or you can't put a buffet 1790. You get three floors. Anyone with half a brain <laughs> will pick the buffet. Okay, so whatever you just said, or whatever you just said, I'm just gonna repeat again for my TikTok viewers and also for you guys. They have this like 1719, 1790, okay? Um, salmon crib, two pieces and then they put like cream cheese, the salmon, all that kind of stuff. The buffet is unlimited free flow 90 minutes. That makes sense for me to pick the other option. For those that really like chocolatey stuff, I'm pretty sure you'll come here and all your crib is going to be all chocolate. The chocolate is, it's not like the Nutella one, uh. it's more syrupy. The Nutella is a bit more thick, right? This one is more syrupy, like water at there. It goes very well with the crib. Uh. But it's sweet, I just can't confirm it. Don't expect me to say something, I always dark chocolate, it's also sweet. No, this is sweet. Jam, jam, now we try jam. I don't know what jam they put, uh, this one. Raspberry. Jam is different, we change each time for the raspberry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm. Not bad, this one. Actually, I kind of like this topping. It's not too sweet. Um, it's a bit sour. I'm not sure if they make, make this home this homemade or not, uh, but this is actually good. And the jam, right, they change seasonal one. So sometimes they will, they will switch it around uh, and see whichever fruit is in season. Okay, this thing right here, uh, they take sour cream, then they add some sort of like their own concoction, sugar, I don't know what, and it becomes like a sweet sour cream. There's a name for this, right? Sweet sour cream. No, <laughs> I thought that's like a special name for it. <laughs> Very good. The sweet sour cream is very good. <laughs> Today I lay out all the different toppings uh, because I'm showing it to you guys. But some of the toppings you need to top up additional money, uh, okay? To get like one serving of it. Come down and acquire from them, okay? Not everything is like free flow. But a good amount of toppings here, I would say 80% of it is free flow. Eh? This is a caramel sauce. Uh, uh, not peanut butter. Uh. This is damn sweet. If you guys are that kind of, you really need something that will hit you that kind of sweet, right? Fun fact though, I really hate broccoli. Oh, really? Yeah, but I eat it because I need the nutrients. So I eat it on a daily, but I really, really hate broccoli. Anytime you want to film, whatever, I can, I'm ready. Okay. Wait, TikTok, right? commercial break again. <laughs> I think that was bad again. Dad, you said sour cream on. Sour cream. I know I feel I did, but. Then you get some chocolate and raspberry. Ah, two different person typing the same request. Okay, guys, this one TikTok request. Ah, I'm not sure this is a good idea. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, this one. Oh, this doesn't taste that bad. <laughs> Guys, I think we cracked 90 already. Huh? Oh my god, I've never eaten this many crib. I'm not saying this because Mark is beside me or what. His crib is good. Come and try. My impression of crib is not like that, really. My impression of crib is like a bit tough, a bit a bit drier. <coughs> but today one, solid. Okay, I thought after this one is 100, but it's, no, it's 101. It's so not bankrupt damage. <laughs> Okay, we're not here for that, okay? It's a good friend of mine, so we're just here to really support him. Uh, give him a bit of like exposure, so some of you guys can actually come down and try out Crip. Like I said, a very different experience. I'm really feeling it now. TikTok, I'm really feeling it now. This last five is for you guys. For those that stayed till now, for those that are tuning in, okay? This last five is for you guys. Oh my god, this is rough. What do you think about people like this? It's a combination of two things though. Like, there's adrenaline, and there's also bloatiness, and there's fatigue. But it really depends. If I'm training, this is the stage I want to be at. And this stage where is where your body starts to like perceive the, the stretch, and it starts to improve. So when I'm practicing, I want to be at this stage. 
But now I just want to get this over and done with. On season, you can eat much more? Yeah. yeah. On season is... Uh, I wouldn't say a lot more, but definitely quicker. Able to do challenges way quicker and way easier. On season, we, we train the body to be able to perform like maybe 10 minutes. Yeah, that sort of thing. I think I'm able to do like 70, 80 in like 10 minutes. There might be a possibility I can do all 100 in 10 minutes. Okay, number 101. Woo! I am I'm, 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 I'm becoming a fan of chocolate again. Chocolate, chocolate. Mm. My last part already. Come to this end of this challenge. The last few pieces really, really, it was really, really dense, really, really rough. But a very, very enjoyable one and very affordable buffet. They are available on weekends, Saturday and Sunday. Come and check him out. Come and support this young 22-year-old owner, okay? Very inspiring. Okay. So that's it, okay? I think I gave enough tasting notes for you guys. Again, I'm a captain. Address and everything will be down in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll finish off this bite. Last bite. Mmm. 101. Woo!